Hi guys, this is Peugeot 307 SW from 2005 and today we will replace auxiliary belt. Before we start any work, let's go through the basics. There are two belts in your car. There's the timing belt under this cover here and then working with the timing belt requires much more skills and knowledge than working with the auxiliary belt, which is located here. The auxiliary belt is driving components such as the alternator or the AC there it is AC compressor here so the driving force is the crankshaft so this pulley drives the belt and rotates the pulley of the air conditioning compressor and then the alternator and this here is just the tensioner for the belt okay so now let's start to loosen the tensioner you can do it from above you can also do it from under the car I do it from under the car to show you how it's done now you see I can pull the tensioner up and I can remove the belt but before I do it we need to mark the rotation on the belt so we put it in the exact same order okay I'm not too demanding so simple arrow is going to be all right okay so now we can remove the belt we use size 15 socket key and now we pull it pull the tensioner up here and then we remove the belt Now, before we install auxiliary belt back in place, we can inspect it for cracks. It looks pretty good. So, to install it, we basically do the reverse of what we did at the beginning. Okay, I was trying to put the video together for you guys, but I noticed that the camera moved while I was trying to reinstall the belt back in place and it didn't register any footage so I decided just to go and do it now uh, so it's clearly visible and this time I'll be working from above the car and I'll put the camera below so you have a good view of the belt okay so first of all I need to get it off again so you can see how I reinstall it Okay, so the belt is off, you can see that it's off and now we put it back in place. I like to leave this part for the AC compressor not connected to the pulley uh, because then I have good access to the tensioner. Okay, last look at all, all pulleys and we have the belt back in place and now we can inspect all the pulleys carefully to see that the belt is in the correct place. Okay, 
So as you see, each and every pulley and its interface sits correct. And therefore, we are ready to start the engine. I almost forgot you also need to remove the sticker. And now we are ready to start the engine. Okay. So let's start the engine. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and if you'd like to see more Peugeot 307 mechanics check my channel out, I've got plenty of videos about this car and good luck with your Peugeot!